In this episode of Travelogue, I discover the woven heritage of the Miao ethnic group. While staying with the Miao family for a week, I learned some traditional embroidery techniques and a few folk dance steps. And I bond with my hosts over some local delicacies. I'm Eva May and welcome to Travelogue. We're currently here in beautiful southwest China's Guizhou province, where I will be staying with the Miao family for full seven days in order to take up the challenge and turn myself into an honorary Miao embroider girl. So what's left to say other than fingers crossed, challenge accepted, and let's get this journey started. Our flight out of Beijing took us to the southwest and the Guizhou provincial capital Guiyang, from the airport, it's a three-hour car ride to our destination, a major population center of the Miao people, Leishan County. With paddy fields drenched in green and wooden houses rising up the hillside, this is Mao Mao He. Known as Miao Embroidery Village, it will be my home for the next few days. I'll be staying with the family of embroiderer Li Min, and the welcome could not be warmer. She even kindly offers to carry my heavy backpack and, well, doesn't seem to take no as an answer. The first thing that strikes me is Li Min's beautiful thick hair, all coiled up in a neat bun. Inside the house, I'm introduced to Li Min's husband, Yu Yong, who is already preparing for as Li Min leads me to a staircase, I note that the house is mainly built of wood, which is the tradition in these parts. In mountainous areas like this, Miao houses are hillside piled dwellings, usually two or three stories high. The ground floor serves as an animal pen and kitchen, while the upper floors are used for storing food and sleeping. It's really cute. Yeah, I know, that might encourage late night snack attacks, right? But my room seems to be so cozy, I imagine it is unlikely I'll be coaxed out. Wow, how do Okay. Thank you. Well, I guess this is going to be my home for the next six days. And um, you know what? Compared to the hustle and bustle in Beijing, I guess this view is definitely unbeatable. In all, 610 people live in this well-maintained village. Surrounded by nature and wildlife, this is the sweet life in its purest form. While I unpack my luggage, dinner is being prepared and served with a welcoming folk song. rice wine flowing in abundance, I start showing unfortunate signs of liquid courage. <laughs> okay, I hope I did not burst anyone's eardrums with my yodeling. As the evening continues, plate after plate of homemade local delicacies are served. Amid all the fun conversation at the dining table, I already feel like a fully integrated member of the family. I guess it's true what they say. You learn a lot about someone when you share a meal together. And tonight's company 
That's the three generations of the family, plus the village comedy head who's also here, have convinced me that this week certainly won't be boring. Despite being a little hungover from all the rice wine we had last night, I'm excited at starting a new day, and I am looking forward to my first embroidery lesson with Minin. But before that, I get to listen to a classic embroiderer's song. <laughs> Li Mian told me that her mother used to teach her embroidery while singing to this song. So, now it is time for me to learn how to use a needle and a thread before I can call myself a meow girl. Embroidery here is seen very much as a feminine art form, and Miao women produce some of the most beautiful embroidery in the world. I've been also told that Miao girls begin to learn the various embroidery techniques as early as six or seven years old. The most common stitch is the so-called satin stitch, which produces a shimmering effect from tightly woven threads of the same color. You can also braid different colored threads together and affix them to a background in various designs, which is known as the braid stitch. The butterfly motif is the most common, as butterflies are central to Miao mythology. The Miao believe that they are descendant from the butterfly mother known as Hu Dia Mama. It is said that she laid 12 eggs, one of which, when it hatched, produced the Miao people. The rest of the eggs became the other creatures on Earth. That's also part of Miao culture, right? It's uh Written history, it's an art form because they don't have their own written language. They use the needle, you could metaphorically say, as a pen and the thread as their ink. And um, this is exactly how they write down information and pass on history, literature, as well as their culture to the next generation. Okay. It's definitely testing my memory and my patience and her patience <laughs> and your patience, actually. But stay with me, please. Well, it's not as easy as it looks, that's for sure. Okay. As a way of keeping the beautiful craft of embroidery alive, they are introducing modern designs, ensuring that their ancient art has a place on the contemporary market. With their innovative stitching featuring in haute couture, jewelry, and accessories, the Miao people are celebrating a revival of their traditions, most obviously in the modern arts and fashion industries. I've heard that artists and designers regularly visit the village, and it just so happens that I run into one. Chen Peijun is an artist from Taiwan. She's accompanied by a university student, both wanting to learn more about Miao embroidery. Chen Peijun tells me that by visiting Miao villages and talking to the embroiderers, she often finds inspiration for her own work. Oh. 
说出来，然后介绍给全世界了。对对,对,对。Coming up next, I introduce a cross-cultural cuisine experience. Source local ingredients from unexpected places and try to break the ice with the youngest member of the family. It's day three in Mao Mao He Village, and together with Li Min, grandmother Tang Sheng Jiu, and little Yu Zhi Xian, I'm about to go and get the ingredients for today's dinner. But our destination isn't the local market. Instead, there is a vegetable garden just a few meters away from the house. You got a whole market in the backyard here. Amazing, it's paradise. So we're here in chili heaven, and um, they don't really smell, but you can definitely taste them once you cook with it. And um, the cuisine here is usually very spicy, so I think this is probably one of the favorite ingredients of Miao people and people in Guizhou overall. <laughs> Mission accomplished. We head off to get the final main ingredient for tonight's dinner. Well, that is after we take a short break to enjoy the beautiful, stunning view. Do you guys get what's going on here? A lot of Miao families raise fish in their paddy fields, in a sustainable approach to farming. While I don't question the logic of that, I do wonder about my fishing skills. After all, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting until something oh has God. finally caught my hook and I get you know to what? pull no out lunch, but at least we have fun and I think we have a problem here. Oh, well. We don't. Before anyone has to go bed to oh, hungry tonight, I guess I fishing master Lehman needs to step in. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do it the more aggressive way. And Lehman's method comes in very handy. <laughs> Success. <laughs> but since one fish isn't going to feed the entire family, we have to try something else. So, I'm not really sure if you guys can see exactly what I'm holding here in my hand. Um, hope the camera guy is doing a great work here. Um, so, here you can like see little larvas actually. So, these are basically baby bees that um, we are trying to feed the fish with and to lure the fish to us. So, let's hope it's going to work out. And it proves to be a success. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! I've never fished before and I cannot believe, but I'm so excited. <laughs> As I help Lehman prepare tonight's dinner, a sudden idea hits me. While she cooks up a local Miao speciality, which is fish in a hot sour soup, I could prepare a dish from my own home, Viennese schnitzel. Well, it'll be more of an Asian fusion version, as I have to get creative with the local ingredients. But nevertheless, I want to give them a taste of Austria. So, I made them the schnitzel. I hope that they will like it. Um, I mean, it looks halfway okay, but I hope it tastes as it looks as well. So, <laughs> 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 oh, Phew, that's a relief. <laughs> However, there's no way my schnitzel could compare to the delicious hot sour fish. 
you can like really smell the local herbs and spices and like this chili flavorful kind of yeah fragrance so I'm just gonna give it a shot mmm After dinner, I decide to spend some time with Yu Zhixian and Grandma Tang Shengjiu. Uh, so while Grandmother works on a 100-year-old piece of fabric that requires some restitching, I decide to get to know the youngest member of the family a little bit better. <笑>你十岁你的梦想是什么你长大想当什么呢 妈妈是跟妈妈学的，然后呢，一个一天要学几个小时的样子吗？我一下子就学会了。哦，那么厉害，那么厉害，我一下子就忘了。不过我有个任务，我要必须完成，是我从我离开的之前，我必须要学怎
比较适合成立的合作社，合作社里面有六十多个绣娘，啊、嗯，然后我们就经常接一些订单来分给大家一起做，就是能够在家照顾老人和小孩子，就是所以不用出去外面打工，嗯、所以觉得很开心。哦是，那你们都不出去打工是吧、嗯？都是在家里。以前以前我是在外面打工的，是在浙江义乌。哦。啊，后来我回家有六年了，所以现在，村里面就是有这个合作社绣花嘛。嗯。所以也给我们带来一些收入。是。所以现在在家，呃，看小孩子啊，还有家里面还有老人这些的，所以我们现在也没有出去工作了。哦。那你们看的都总是在一起，都很开心的，应该是吧？可以是。是<笑>那你们呢？你们也是吧？还是都是的，都是,是都是每个人都是的。应该不按的，人家有点细抓的。Well, I must say, not only are these ladies very professional and exhibit a strong work ethic, but they genuinely enjoy the time they spend together, and are always ready for a good laugh. It's day six here in Neishan, and tell you what, the sun is boiling hot today. But that does not stop people from leaving their houses early in order to secure a good vantage point for the big event of the day, a bullfight. To my surprise, today's spectacle isn't taking place in a stadium. Instead, people are gathering in a mountain valley, just as natural as it gets. <laughs> The Miao people consider the bull as a symbol of health, power, hard work, and bravery. An event like this isn't organized for fun, but to honor and show their affection for buffalo. There are two kinds of fighting bull. One is a farm animal, which usually works, and only participates in bullfights that are organized as part of a festival. The other is the so-to-speak professional, which does not do any farm work, but is trained to fight. Well, it seems that these two bulls are in particular persistent, so none of them wants to surrender, and it's time for people to step in and separate them from each other. So I don't know about you guys, but it's definitely my first time watching a bullfight. And um, it's very thrilling, but also a tad brutal. Uh, the people here seem to enjoy it, though. Kind of how 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 are you? How are okay. So I guess that's one way to um, present the inborn characteristics of like two bulls fighting. So yeah, it's definitely thrilling. That's for sure. I'm delighted to see, though, that no bull has been killed during this fight, as it usually gets quite brutal and bloody with these competitions. The overall rules of the game here are pretty simple, though. The bull that runs away first is the loser. After an adrenaline-fueled day, it's time to get ready for the grand finale tonight. It's what we ran the errands for yesterday at the market. I'm going to buy myself some fake hair. What do you guys think? <laughs> so I am a fully integrated meow girl, and I hope that I respectfully represent this beautiful, beautiful tradition. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's beautiful. And as a fully integrated Miao girl wearing a 100-year-old Miao dress, I am more than ready to shake a leg with Li Min tonight. I mean, wouldn't you guys be too, all dressed up like this? Okay. It's a little hard. I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, okay, maybe I should practice my dance moves a little more before I can truly call myself a meow girl. But hey, at least I get to learn from the best. This is so much fun, I love it! Woo! <laughs> and so, time passes as we dance the night away, along with some other tourists from various parts of China. <laughs> Okay, so my week here.
career is coming to an end, but the memories and the experiences and the experiences that I made with the family especially will last forever. The people here are so warm-hearted and so kind, and I wouldn't want to miss out on this opportunity again. So if you guys have the chance to ever come here, I would highly advise you to do it. So I'm going to work out more of the hot sour fish soup that I had, and um, yeah, see you guys later. <laughs> Today is my last day at Mao Mao He Village, but before I leave, I need to make sure I complete my embroidery task. So these past couple of days, my little teacher and I have been spending hours and hours on stitching our motive, with success. So the reason why we have um, created this like little cat motive is because Mao Mao He literally translates into Ket Cat River and it is a reference because dozens of years ago it is believed that there were sea kings of um, wild cats such as tigers and yeah it's definitely going to be a very meaningful little souvenir that I'm going to take back. Bye mesmerizing week it's been. Thank you very much. <laughs> so my week here as a Miao and Bride girl is coming to an end, but it is with also a heavy heart that I'm leaving this beautiful place. I'm very, very grateful for all the wonderful memories created with the family though, quite literally as you can see. So I'm glad to say that we have successfully completed our mission and I am excited to see you guys next time on Travelog. My name is Eva May, see you soon.